What's up everyone, Tom here from the Fabcon 3D again and I'm here at the Cruiser 3D scanner booth and essentially this huge box behind me here is a structured light scanner, an automated structured light scanner at that. So if you don't know how a structured light scanner typically works, it's a projector that emits a patterned light onto the object you want to scan and then a traditional camera that's a bit offset looking at the light and dark corners on the object you want to scan. So typically that is a very labor intensive and manual process. And what the Cruiser 3D scanner does is automate that entire thing. And it's not just automating the scanning process, it's also automating the texturing process. Because typically structured light scans don't come with, a, with color or texture information. So what the Cruiser 3D does is it's basically also incorporating an automated photo booth into that scanning area. It's got 40 of what they call light channels, so basically controllable LED spots and LED area lights. And that allows you to create and reproduce any lighting situation in there. So you plop in a, an object, you hit scan, and a few or a few more minutes later, depending on the resolution you picked, you've got your finished 3D scanned and textured object. So they're claiming a 100 micron resolution and they're also saying that there are none of the artifacts and deformities you'd get from a different scanning process. So for example, on the uh, laser-based scanners, you're often going to see a model that's too tall for how wide it is. So granted, at a price point of 70k, this isn't really a consumer product. It's aimed at product photography and, you know, particularly it's creating 3D models for web stores where you typically just get those jagged click, 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 um, pseudo 3D models. What they're also seeing this thing used is for scanning artifacts at museums, just things that aren't supposed to be touched all the time, but where you still need the highest quality 3D scan to reproduce it or to just display it online. So I think it's a really cool concept and honestly just fascinating to watch. And as a side effect, it produces really great 3D scans. So that's my quick look at the Cruiser 3D scanner. Stay tuned for more coverage from the Fabcon 3D.